what's going on, people? It's been a while since we've been in this situation, in this setting. And I know that I am extremely late. The chapter is coming out, the new one, 898, in two days. Two days' time. And I'm sitting here at chapter 897 on a, on a Wednesday like, uh, yeah, it's about time to do the review. I think I, well... <laughs> There's a real reason, it's just because of life, you know, and I wasn't, I wasn't able to read the chapter. But now that I've been able to sit down and read my One Piece, you know, get, the, get my One Piece fix. And I'd been fiending, I'd been wanting to read the chapter. So finally, got the chance, sat down, read it, and what did I think? So here's the review. Let's get into it. Hmm, Stronson, Struson, Stanson, Stanson. My man in the cover page looks like the dude from Overwatch. Like that, that dude that, uh... The, the cannon, no, 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 it's not a cannon, the, the projectile dude that you set up and you do the, I've never played Overwatch, I've just seen it played, but he looks like that dude, they, they have very similar facial features, I would say, uh, and very similar body type, and he doesn't look that big, but everything looks kind of small because they're on a giant pirate ship, I'm assuming, so he's probably huge, he's probably a massive man, he's a giant, he's not even a man, he's a, he's a man giant, a male not a man. Is, is a man is a man only relevant to human? Yeah, it is actually. So he's a male giant. I wonder what. Uh, I guess it would be the same terminology, right? Humanoid. Um, that's for another day. What, what am I? What am I? What am I talking about? So getting into this chapter, my man Peckham's coming out of the out of the mirror. Okay, out of the mirror and getting shut down viciously. They they said gouge that man's eyes out. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know it was gonna be that vicious, that serious. Um, it's a the stuff with like uh, Pedro was the only one who could talk me out of that, and that's why I'm kind of turning coat. Um, that's not why he's turning coat. He doesn't want Pedro's sacrifice to go to to waste. Okay. Um, I always got the impressions that Peckham's was extremely loyal to Big Mom. He was kind of what sold me on the loyalty. Him and uh, Count Chicken, the other one. Th those two characters are what sold me on the loyalty to the pirate crew because they're not part of the family and yet they're they're completely loyal. However, we, we do find out later on that Peckham's was kind of forced into it and it was kind of like now that I guess his it's strange because we're finding out that the loyalty to Big Mom isn't all what it seems to be, especially considering uh, you know, Jim Bay, that's been an example. Now Peckham's it's and and of course uh, Capone those three characters are showing us that you cannot be loyal to a, a tyrant like Big Mom. You, you cannot. You just can't. She is not a good leader. She just isn't. Um, she, is a, she is a tyrant. Like I just said, she is a tyrant. And that's where... So, yeah, Peckham's was loyal, but that's where his kind of... His change of heart comes into play because he does have something that he prioritizes over the Big Mom crew. Even though we had, I feel like there's been instances in the story where Peckham's has has spoken about the loyalty to Big Mom uh, in different like in different points of the story and spoken about the power and how you don't cross Big Mom. Um, and yet now we find out that in his heart, Pedro was someone of more of a priority to him than Big Mom. That's just plain as day, that's just plain as facts, considering that he turns coat the minute that Pedro sees something in the Straw Hats, and he switches his alliances and his allegiances. So it's not like an ass pull or anything, it, it makes complete sense. Uh, and it's just kind of, it's giving more, more, um, more fluff, more taste, more, more fulfilling, filling, more fulfilling filling to the Big Mom Pirates. Uh, and... Yeah, so that's about it with Peckham's. I thought that was kind of brutal what they did to my man, but it's not the it's not the highlight of the chapter. The oh my gosh, when Saj 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 cooked when Sanji came in. Are you kidding me? You didn't feel it. It was the only thing that made me feel anything the entirety of the chapters when Sanji just oh my man, it's been too long. Oh, just that one kick, just that one kick, and it was over. It was over. My man Sanji whew, pulling in the stops, okay? He pulled in, he came in, and he came through. So, that's like the middle point of the chapter. Uh, and I want to take this opportunity to talk about the salt, right? I'm part of the salt pile, right? Apparently, I'm the dude with the rest of us in the, in the, in the salt pile adding flavor to the One Piece community, but still, we are the salt. Uh, not content with the fight with Katakuri. Listen, I had no problem. So when the when the chapter came out when they were fighting, 
uh, and there was like that was their last punch, uh, but we didn't know the how it how it ended, right? And we didn't know how it resolved. I had a problem with it because I didn't feel the impact of the fight. I didn't feel like Luffy was was genuinely tired. Then after the fight, the conclusion comes in, and Luffy kind of lost, but he kind of won. It was kind of a stalemate. It was kind of a draw. Okay, no problem with that. But then I get an issue when Luffy is smiling. In this chapter, we see Luffy smiling. He's not running on his own, right? He's not walking. But he's not like... His, his, he was still able to get up after the fight. That was the last chapter. I know I harped on and talked about it for so long. But we're seeing it in this chapter. He doesn't seem that injured. My man Luffy is smiling. He's like, yep, I won. I, yep, Sanji. And Sanji's like, that's my captain. It's like, dude. A good, a good, a good way to put it is we all remember what happened at the end of Eni's lobby. You remember, I remember. It's impossible to forget, right? Luffy was at the end of his physical capabilities. There was nothing left inside of Luffy to give. Uh, there was, yeah, we saw him smiling. We saw him, you know, being like, "Let's sail to the seas," right? There, but he was not able to move. But after this fight, he's able to move, he's able to speak. I mean, he can still speak at the end of, end of Annie's Lobby, but you felt the impact. You felt like, damn, Luffy, he went in on the way he can't move his, his nervous system shut down. No more. No more muscle movement, no more skeletal movement, no more nervous system functionality. Everything was shut down. Uh, except for his, you know, his brain. Obviously, he can still speak and communicate. But I, at the end of this fight, he just got out of the hole. And he walked, and now he's being carried by Peckham's. Obviously, he's tired. We feel that he's tired. We know that he's tired. But it's not, it's like, he just, with this level, like this earth-shattering level that he just punched through, right? Beating Katakuri. It's, it's huge. It's supposed to feel like this is a huge, triumphant moment. But it just feels like Luffy overcame it. And it was no big deal. Even though it was a big deal. We saw him fighting. We knew he fought for a long time. I don't, I don't feel the impact of the fight. I don't feel the impact like I did with Eni's Lobby. When at the end, he was laying on the ground and he was done. He was defeated. It was over. Right? So, that's where my issue is. I don't have a problem with the fight. I don't have a problem with the way it ended. Uh, and I don't have a problem with the conclusion of it. Katakuri did technically win. He was still standing and then my man knocked out, right? And then they could both still stand at the end, but Katakuri decided to take a nap because there was no way that they could continue to fight one another. Uh, so he just decided to stay in the mirror world and not chase after because he... I'm not going to go... I, I'm not going to go as far as to say he couldn't move because I don't want to say that. If Katakuri couldn't move and Luffy was able to walk away, there's a huge issue. But there is a huge issue because Katakuri was knocked out and Luffy laid the, uh, the, the hat over his, his mouth. So... There's a big issue with with the level, the power scaling here, because Katakuri was just so much stronger than Luffy was at this moment. At the beginning of this fight, Luffy could only use Gearforth for a limited amount of time. No matter what mode, a limited amount of, a limited amount of time. Then he uses it uh, at the end of this fight, after fighting 12 hours, after going blow to blow with one of the, with the second strongest, second to Big Mom. People are, are you forgetting? Second to Big Mom. Okay, people are forgetting. I think people are forgetting. I, I don't think I'm wrong, okay? Of course I don't think I'm wrong. I, I just feel like people are blind. People want this to be good. Uh, but it's just, it's okay, okay? It's, it's passable. It's not a deal breaker for One Piece, for me. It's not a deal breaker because Luffy is still, right, he's not walking away just, you know, dancing, moving to the beat. No, he's he's messed up, right? But he's not, he's not at the level, he's not at the place where he should be in terms of not being able to move. And I feel like it would be easy to do. Just make him say, like, I'm done, I'm finished, I can't do nothing no more. And then Peckham's could have saved him and then things could have just continued onwards. Um, but I guess for dramaticism, with the moment with Luffy showing respect to Katakuri and putting the hat, granted, that was hype. That was hype. But that's all we're here to talk about, right? I just wanted to take a little moment to talk about it. Um, I, I wanted to be clear. Like, I'm not completely salt. I'm just a little bit salt. Just a ti I'm just a dash of salt. I'm just a little bit. So, yeah, that's it for me. I mean, so let's get back into the chapter. The Vince Smoke. 
they appear. So right, yeah, um, we saw we saw Oven do a move. Not a big deal. I'm skipping over it. It was cool and everything. You know, he cares about his family. Yada yada. It's same stuff that we've seen reiterated constantly. Big Mom pirates. They care about one another. Obviously, that's your brother. That's your sister. Moving onwards, the Vin Smoke. The Vin Smoke show up. Now I will admit that I forgot. My brain was like Vin Smoke family. They're not even relevant. I had totally forgotten about the Vin Smoke. Well, but they do show up. They do show up, obviously. I should have kept that in my brain. I should have kept that up here. I should have kept that ready. But it was not it was not cocked and loaded, and I wasn't ready for that. So when the Vin Smoke showed up, I was like, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. The Vin Smoke, they exist. They're they're real. They're still happening. So yeah, that was that was kind of a, a big turnaround in the chapter, and that's a big moment because Sanji's like, I don't really want help from you guys, but we kind of need help right now because I'm not gonna be able to take on this fleet on my own. And I thought it was stated in the last chapter that the Straw Hat Pirates weren't going to meet up in Kakao Island because they they didn't know that Luffy knew about the meeting place. I thought that was stated. Maybe that was a translation error or maybe that was a reading error on my part. It's possible, but I thought that was stated. Um, but apparently they're all meeting. And I just think Jimbei looks so natural at the helm of the ship. My man Jimbei. That was the most hype moment for me in the entirety of the Old Kick Island arc. Fuck the fight. Jimbei surfing that tsunami like, oh, come on, man, come on, Fishman hype. It was great. I'm a big Jimbei fan, so you, you gotta, Jimbei is my boy. No, he's a man. He's my man. I love Jimbei. I would trust him with my children. You know, he's like, he's, he's on that level. Like if I had children, I'd be like, you know, J go, go hang with Uncle Jimbei for a little bit, for a day, for a couple days, you know, learn some karate. I love Jimmy, so that was that, that has nothing to do with anything. But seeing him at the helm of the this, this the, the fleet or no the, the 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 pirate crew that will one day be the 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 the, the pirate crew of the pirate king, it, it's hype, right? It's hype. So, oh Jimbei, some people don't like Jimbei. Get out, get out of here. We don't want you here. If you don't like Jimbei, no, that's that's rude. That's rude. You can stay. Please tell me why, and then I'll correct you in the comments. I'll let you know why we need Jimbei on a crew at all times. My man needs to be there. So, that's the chapter. There's not much going on, right? And, of course, there was that little, um, there was that move that uh, in the Skywalk, uh, when, 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 when Sanji was Skywalking with the other dude and he knocks him down. It's, uh, it's just to show, like, hey, they're not going to be able to get out of this without help, and then, boom, the help arrives. And then that one dude, the uh, Lanson, I think his name was? Could be, Lance, and when he comes through with the uh, with the with the sword attack, he looks cool. He looks very um, edgy. I don't want to use that right, but he looks kind of he looks cool, and he's got a cool design. And he's got that anime look to him, right? I guess edgy's not a good word. We'll use that anime look. He's got that anime look going on for him, and I I like it. I, I like it. Okay, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I like it in this instance, uh, and it looks good. He look kind of looks like he kind of has that Vin Smoke look to him, right? Sorta. I'm not crazy on that one. So where's the story going moving forward? Uh, well, considering that I was, I, I didn't have any idea last chapter. Uh, this chapter, I think that you know the Vince Mc are going to take care of business. Sanji's going to be able to stay, escape, but they're not getting out without a few blisters, without a few bruises, because Smoothie is still there. She's still chilling. She's, she's like, where are they going to go? They think they're getting out of here. Where are they going to go? So my girl Smoothie is probably going to come on in. She's going to let herself in excuse me she's not gonna come on it she's gonna let herself in and there's gonna be a skirmish with her against the straw hats because i don't see because because peckham's is out of the question and the vid smoke are going to take on the fleet um and try to escape afterwards i'm assuming i don't think they're going to be able to take on the entirety of the fleet by them by themselves that's just that doesn't make any sense right that doesn't make any sense so yeah they're going to try to dip probably they're not going to be able to do all the damage, but they're going to give the Straw Hats a chance to leave, and Smoothie's going to have some kind of confrontation, but who's going to fight Smoothie? Like, is it going to be a combined effort? I mean, my man Sanji's there, and my man Jinbei's there, so, I mean, I, and you know what? You know what? Let's, let's, okay, I, if you stay to the end, okay, thank you, thank you so much, because, uh, remember, do you remember? This just came into my brain right now. Remember in Fishman Island, when Sanji and Jinbei both fought Watasume? That could be that could be foreshadowing for Sanji and more more Sanji and Jinbei team-ups in the future. I'm calling it right now. Sanji, Jinbei versus Smoothie. I'm calling it right now. It's happening. 
It's happening because we've seen it happen before in the past. Those two, they know how to work together, right? One in the sky, one on the ground. They a tag team. They're not going to be a tag team, probably not for all the time. But because Jimbei is like a, a clutch character, right? He comes in clutch. He comes in clutch with the, with the wisdom and with the sailing. And Sanji comes in clutch with the saves, with staying ahead of the game, staying ahead of the plants. They're both similar kind of support characters. And they're both similar kind of fighting characters characters right they, they both use martial arts i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you it's happening um i'm sure of it so that's the review and that's the video a like comment and subscribe oh gosh you know what leave a like I, you, that's so lazy right like like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys no please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and leave a dislike either one always gives me support and lets me know what i'm doing Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the chapter. If it was good, if it was bad, or you, you know, leave me your, leave me your opinion. Or if I left something out, or if I said something that was not facts, because you know we need to check the facts. We need to constantly check context, facts, and set it uh, to make sure that everything is okay. And also subscribe to join the crew to get more content, to get more stuff that I'm putting out. You know, I'm always changing my mind. I'm always changing my ideas. Sometimes things get put to the wayside. Some things come out in the forefront. Some things, so, you know, it's it's never the same here. We have fun. We have a good time. It's like a circus. I come out and I'm just like, here you go, my boys. And you guys are like, yeah. And then we party. We celebrate. We have a good time, right, in the comments. Uh, and I hope you guys are having beautiful, productive, bright, brilliant days. Okay, I hope I genuinely hope that you guys are having productive, bright, beautiful, brilliant days. And I hope you stay healthy, happy, and I'll see you all next time. Next week for that next One Piece chapter. Goodbye now.